Jennifer, you spotted over here. That is the circulation around Aaron wrapping around a big weakening high pressure of air uh, high pressure ridge over the Atlantic. So that's what's driving the forecast for Aaron, which is a very strong category five hurricane as of tonight and it was even this morning. So those winds still 160 miles per hour and notice it's not the hugest storm, but we are expecting it to expand in size maybe even by two or three times in the coming days. And we are expecting also for it to curve to the north. So again, I was showing you radar here around Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands getting some downpours at this point, but the center with those strongest winds, thankfully off to the northeast of those Caribbean islands. Our forecast, our, uh, our forecast models are bringing it out to the slowly northwest, curving around that big high and then curving it all the way to the northeast sort of around Bermuda and off the east coast of the US likely is still category three storm by the middle of this upcoming week. So this is just churning a ton of energy and also is going to be a big system over these warm Atlantic waters models in good agreement for the most part with that track around the high and off to the northeast around the north east coast of the US. Aside from some high surf and some rip currents throughout a big chunk of the upcoming week. Thankfully, it doesn't look like they'll have to deal with hurricane or tropical storm force, even winds or a lot of rain associated with it. So uh, coastal conditions, you know, in the waters uh, could be a bit rough, but otherwise looking OK for the US East Coast. No other threats at this point. 